Today, I'm really excited to share research-backed insights on the top five supplements and vitamins that can improve fertility health. But you can opt for pills incorporating specific foods that naturally contain these nutrients is usually the best approach. I would say do what you can to make sure that you're getting the proper dosage daily and then check with your healthcare provider as well. I do both. I use food, I use supplements, whatever helps you to meet your goals. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Gina Terranoni, and I've helped over 2,000 women and couples to become pregnant and have healthy babies over the past 23 plus years. All of the videos that you find on this channel here have at least one actionable fertility tip for you to take action the same day that you watch the video. So definitely subscribe and also drop me a line below with the word egg and I will happily share with you my essential egg quality guide. Great, let's get into these five fertility nutrient supplement superstars and I'll let you know where you can find the food resources as well. Okay, so first up, we've got coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10. And CoQ10 is a total game changer for egg quality. And research shows that it enhances mitochondrial function in eggs. And this is especially helpful for women to take if they're over 35 years old, especially if you're focusing on egg quality. And you can find CoQ10 in specific foods like chicken breast, trout, roasted peanuts, and sesame seeds. But definitely check and see how much you get of it in each of those foods because recommended dosages range from 200 to 600 milligrams per day based on studies. Next up, number two is folic acid. And folic acid is crucial for fertility and fetal development. So studies show its positive impact on fertility rate. And rich sources include spinach, broccoli, avocados, lentils, and any kind of fortified whole grain bread. You'll find it in there as well. And women who are trying to conceive are often advised to take 400 to 800 micrograms daily. And next up, we've got omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are vital for hormone regulation and reproductive health, and studies often link them to improved fertility. Excellent sources, if you're looking at food, a little bit easier to get. So this includes wild-caught salmon, mackerel, chia seeds, walnuts, flaxseed oil, and a typical recommendation of omega-3 fatty acids as 250 to 500 milligrams daily of EPA and DHA combined. Now, here's a tip. If you are also going to supplement because you don't want to eat salmon every day, right? Because you've got to look at your wild-caught salmon and still consider mercury in there. I would say if you're taking pill form, I know a lot of people have problems with taking it or like getting the fish burps the thing so definitely take it with food I don't recommend taking that on an empty stomach that is my preference and a lot of my patients and clients agree that it feels gross to take that on an empty stomach okay number four is inositol inositol benefits women with PCOS especially because it improves ovarian function and it's also helpful in insulin regulation. So food-wise, you want to look at eating fresh cantaloupe, which is delicious, grapefruit, whole wheat bread, and brown rice has inositol. So research suggests dosages ranging from 200 to 4,000 milligrams a day. Again, that's a pretty wide range, so you definitely want to check in with your healthcare provider on that one. And now the last one, every time I, I tell somebody about this, a client or a patient, they're like, what? Melatonin. So beyond it's regulating sleep, everybody uses it that has sleep problems knows melatonin. But aside from that, it protects eggs and balances hormones. It's high in antioxidants, so it's also really good for your immune system, especially 
at the time of this recording, we're heading in and a lot of people are getting colds and stuff. So you want to consider melatonin as well. And studies have also found it improves IVF outcomes. And I know that a lot of the IVF clinics where I see their patients and clients that they often will recommend melatonin, which is great because when I first started working with IVF patients like 20 something years ago, there were no supplements being recommended. So there is more research. We just need more and more of it. So while if you're looking for a food source, I haven't found it to be too abundant in foods, but you can find small amounts or trace amounts of melatonin in tart cherries, almonds, sunflower seeds, and oat. And the dosages and studies typically are used between three to five milligrams per day. I've seen it much higher than that as well. But again, like that really depends on how you respond to melatonin because obviously it can make you sleepy, but for I've seen for fertility, higher doses than that. And just a side point that I know a lot of women that will drink tart cherry juice before they go to bed because it does help to calm things down and it can help you sleep better. But a side note of that is a lot of times it'll come with high sugar in it. So if you are looking at drinking cherry juice, just make sure it's organic and then check to make sure there isn't any added sugar. And you could always add something naturally to sweeten it, like swerve or something like that. So you're not getting just straight up white sugar. I hope that's helpful. But integrating these supplements through your diet can be a natural and effective way to boost fertility. And remember, while food is a great source, supplements can play a crucial role because It's important for women who are trying to get pregnant to make sure they're getting the proper dosage. Like I said in the beginning, like I take vitamins, I take supplements, I take herbs every day for specific things that are going on with me. And I also try to get as much as I can from my foods. But if you work and travel and that kind of thing, it can be a little bit harder. So just factor that in, but no, have a list and you can keep that in your phone of the foods I mentioned. And then when you're traveling, focus on those foods, but then that's when you would want to pack your supplements. So definitely, again, consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement or vitamin or even herbal. I will cover the herbs, fertility herbs in the next video. Talk to a provider so you can have somebody who's guiding you in case you have specific reactions or questions, or you don't feel like it's quite working for you, but have somebody to track with you and along your journey. For more fertility tips, subscribe to this channel and join my free community online. The link is in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today.